My pleasure. I understand you were a venture capitalist in the past and that you still do seed investments uh, through the university. Could you tell me a little bit about your history and uh, what brought you to this point? Well, in, 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 I'll try to do that in three minutes, but my background is engineering. I studied in France, studied at Stanford University, and, and basically this big difference between the European culture where we were just studying engineering and Stanford University where I discovered all my classmates wanted to do startups pushed me to go uh, further in the direction of innovation. So I moved from academic research to venture capital in 1997 uh, and I stayed with Index Ventures until 2003. And, and really I, I, want, I was interested in trying to understand why Europe was so far behind uh, Silicon Valley. Then I moved to a, a university, EPFL, which is a Swiss Institute of Technology in Lausanne. Right. And I'm helping uh, students to become entrepreneurs. So I have a seed fund. I have spent about $4 million in the last five years. Right. I give about $100,000 per project. And I have funded uh, about 40 projects in the last five years. Uh, these are not companies yet, but 20 companies were created out of the 40 projects. So, so right. that's the background. And what percentage of women do you get involved with in as regards funding uh, startups? Well, I would say about, let's say, 10%. Well, out of the 40 projects, three women came, uh, were had funded, right? So okay. And the 10% is probably the number of women you have in engineering at EPFL. And yes. I experience as, as a former uh, student in engineering, too, you have about 10% of women in, in science, in technology, Yes. Business in management and probably as entrepreneurs. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, have you noted differences with women entrepreneurs in how they pitch and build businesses? Well, that's, that's a difficult question. I, I would mm. have a tendency to believe there are no differences. They, they Great. Have the same level of energy. Uh, I, I hear many different um, Analysis about why we yes. be different. I, I am not convinced about that. I think right. society is making women uh, different. They put them in a different uh, uh, position. Yes. Because of us, right? The, the male who want our yes. wives to to be uh, take care of, of the house or the or, of the kids. But once yes. you have forgotten about that, you discover they are very similar. I have a daughter with 15. Uh, years old, she's studying uh, science, and when Brilliant. I see her personality, I would have the feelings she could behave very similarly to, to men. Fantastic, fantastic. And obviously, uh, why you're contributing to projects like this, because you want your daughter to uh, have a different playing field, right? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> um, Cindy Gallup, founder of If We Ran the World, said in a recent interview, VCs fund in their own image, white, male. The cycle is self-perpetuating, so predominantly male VCs have preconceived notion in their heads of what they think constitutes a kind of entrepreneur to back. John Doerr apparently said, if you're white, under 30, tech geek with no social life and a Harvard-Stanford dropout, line up for VC money. He didn't say male, but he might as well have. If it had been a 17-year-old Russian girl who came up with chat roulette, would there have been as much interest in funding whatever she might do next? What is your take on this, Harvey? And if, there is, if this is happening, how can women startups find an opening in this culture, particularly in Europe? Well, it's... Uh it's a tough comment that you're making, but, but there's, yeah. there's a lot of truth. I was thinking about the, the movie about Facebook, right? When, when you yes. look at, at, at the woman in, in the movie, they don't have a very nice role, right? And, and yes. Zuckerberg, except his former girlfriend, who has a, a very nice position. Yes, you, you, you may be right. I mean, we, we, we male are not, are not really helping. I was also thinking, how many women are in venture capital? There's Anne Winblad, there's, there's Esther Dyson. When I was at Index, in fact, they were women. There were two or three out of 20 people. Right. Uh, but, but you're right. We are, we are always copying our past models, right? Right. Uh, in Europe, is it different than the, in the US? I am not sure. Right. Okay. Um, Cindy also says, I think not as many women as men actively seek VC money because they're not as tapped into the boys' network as male entrepreneurs are. Young male entrepreneurs can 
very easily become the flavour of the month and get it introduced around from one VC to another, get the perception going that they're hot and get their funding. It doesn't happen for women that way. Do you think that networking with venture capitalists is harder for women entrepreneurs in Europe? Uh, it's, uh, it, it might be. It might be. Okay. Right, it's a network, it's a club. When yes. you belong to the club. But it's, it would be similar for any minority, right? Even if you okay. students in engineering with no business background, they, they, they are probably more shy. If you think about any kind of minority, it would be the same. In fact, let, let me write, uh, let me read, sorry, a, a small yes. quote of, yes. of, of Menatrot that I had found in, in Founders at Work, you know, this very yes. book about entrepreneurship. And yes. she said, I think one of the reasons this happens that to be that women aren't ne always necessarily that motivated to prove themselves in the way that men are. You uh, can't do something like that without wanting to be exposed. Right. I was identified more with guys at school and I've always been competitive with them. Many women are in market marketing or design. I think marketing and design are a lot harder to learn than engineering. So, so she's saying something interesting, right? Yeah, that you have to be ready to be exposed, that you have to be ready to mm. be in front, right? To stand. Yes, yes. And, and society. That takes more that. confidence, doesn't it? It does. Yes, yes, you're right. And, and yes, Jessica Livingston's done some great work in um, paving the way for women here in the Valley, particularly. Absolutely. What do you see then as the obstacles for inclusion of women entrepreneurs in achieving funding? Um. I guess we've got to build up our confidence, yeah, right? Uh, well, on, 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 the, on the very basics, right, from yes. school to, to study science and technology. I'm not saying entrepreneurship and, and technology are related, but in my case, in ITEC, yes. If we yes. don't have enough women in science and technology first, there's a first hurdle, right? Right. And then, yes, we have to, we, we have to, to show that them that they, they have to think about a career, but, but the obstacles are, are much before just entrepreneurship, right? It's about being ambitious with a career, uh, not being afraid of having a career and having kids. I mean, these, these things are, are not open. There's, there's another quote I, uh, mm. uh, I like very much. Uh, it was, I think it was Anne Winblad. And yes. she's saying, yes, a daughter of a friend of mine is worried about appearing too nerdy if she invests in science. Uh, and she was adding, uh, however, some of the successful women, um, including herself and Carol Bartz, who is now the, the CEO of the yes, yes. Of us were mass with, and we really had fun teenage lives as well as adult lives, and have been very successful. So the problem is, is that we need role models, right? And the role yes. models, it's Steve Jobs, uh, it's Zuckerberg. So you need role models as women too, right? That's yes, a yeah. good way. So if you put in front such women and Jessica Livingston and others, then I think it will give a lot of confidence to women. Yes, I think you're totally correct on that level and, and many people say that, that we do need more women role models. Cindy also says VCs tend to say that they back the person, not the idea, but if, if they always back the same kind of person, male, then women entrepreneurs have a better chance of getting funded when they have something that's actually working in the marketplace. Do you agree that women need to have their business developed before they can achieve funding? Uh, it, it, it may be true that, that basically the level of trust which are given to women compared to male is uh, a priori, right? A yes. Local, right. So they have they have to to come with something which is more mature. Right? It's very yes. It's very yes. I tend to agree. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, often, advice for sourcing v venture is equated with dating, and my background's in the online dating industry, so I'm interested in this piece, implying that there's a matching that needs to happen with entrepreneur and investor. Have you noticed a general psychological profile of venture capitalists and also of entrepreneurs that promotes the attraction and synergy between them to develop a great startup? Wow. Um... I'm not sure I have good answers for that. You know, you, you have to remember that in Europe, uh, venture capitalists are, are probably less entrepreneurial. Uh, they, they have less of an entrepreneurial background compared to the U.S. The, right. the venture capitalists probably are more former consultants, former bankers, right. uh, former business people, right? That's, so that makes them even more conservative, right? Certainly. Certainly. Yep. The, yep. the risk-taking in Europe... 
well, this has changed, right? You have a number of new funds with former right. entrepreneurs, you know, the Skype people are, are now yes. investors. Uh, the people I was working at, with at Index are really great people. Yes, I've heard but Index they, is they great. Are, they are, they are, we, have, we have a number of good funds in, 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 in Europe, but of course we have to improve this, right? Before I, yes. I'm even able to answer your question about the link to women, that's... that's yes. that, sorry not to be... No, I understand. But if we're talking generally about, you know, uh, if you hark back to your days as a venture capitalist, what were the, the things that made you decide to invest in a business um, when well, an entrepreneur came in? It was it was clearly the people. I agree. It's not it's not oh, okay. it's not the idea. Uh, okay. But of course, but of course, in Europe, because of the lack of uh, long history about entrepreneurship, you cannot bet uh, on, on serial entrepreneurs or former successful entrepreneurs. So yes. you have to bet on the talent, right? So it's more yes. of engineering talent, uh, the, 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 the level of energy of the people also, right? Okay. The, the, the level of self-confidence may be less important because that's not a, a typical feature of, of Europeans compared to Americans. Interesting. It, it, okay. are looking for talent, right? And, and okay. Uh, raw talent, right? Engineering okay. talent. And then... We would add to these people the management talent that we may have to go and find in the U.S. By the way, right? It's right. I've done a lot. Right. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you. In the dance with an entrepreneur, both in the decision-making process of funding a startup and then in working with those startups, what's the necessary qualities that make a good venture capitalist in Europe? And, uh, and obviously, they have a different background, as you've just pointed out. Some of the talents that have men been mentioned to me. Is that would you trust your gut instincts and feelings that happen within the relationship with the entrepreneur as signs about what's happening in the business or the startup, or would you manage by influence or persuasion? And um, I, I gather because at, most venture capitalists say that you can't um, actually get in there and run the business, but you have to be able to influence or, or change things if, if there's difficulties happening. So, so. The gut feeling is tricky, right? Because when you yes. have a lot of experience, it's very good. But but when when you're new in that activity, like we are in Europe, I would be careful yes. about about gut feeling. But I think it's important. No, I think the the most important quality of venture capitalist is the quality of the network. They, right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure they can. Certainly, they cannot manage companies, right? But yes. And certainly influence the entrepreneurs in saying, uh, you don't know everything. So try to partner uh, with people who can help you building a, a big company. Got it. Right? Okay. I think that's a key feature. And okay. of course, because in Europe we are very conservative, you know, this image of it's, it's better to have a small share of a, big, of a big pie, right, than the big pie of a small cake, right? Yes. <laughs> we managed to convince the, the founders of that element yes. to be successful, which means also be, think global from day one, right? Think in the yes. international because... Because I w the buyers are not in Europe, right? If you're in yes. wh whatever market, the buyers, initial buyers are in the US, right? So we, yes. I think the quality of, of European investors is, is to be connected to the US. So that right. both in terms of, of, of hiring people, finding partners, finding customers, finding right. future uh, uh, investors, yes. the, the, the quality of net the network will be key. Right. And I guess because you mentioned earlier that venture capitalists in Europe are mainly consultants or from banks, banking backgrounds, they, they, they wouldn't be able to contribute to the business in the way that venture capitalists here, here do, who are often um, have a background in some sort of technology or life sciences or whatever. Um, so I guess there's a difference there in how they manage. And, and what you're saying is that they have to have good networks in Europe to be able to help the businesses or the startups that I, they're working with. I, I think so. Then, then Brilliant. Mr. Stunt, investors are better and better in Europe. I mean, in the 20 years ago, it was not good. 10 years ago, it was better. Now it's much, much better. But still, right. I think we have to, to really use the network, yes. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you so much for your time today, Harvey. It's been really a delight meeting you and um, Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate your contribution. Thank you very much.